as um, Mark Gerard from the Historic Places Trust. Uh, councillors, thank you for allowing us to make the submission. Uh, just to begin with, we'd like to acknowledge and thank the efforts of the Council's Heritage Team, led by Brendan Smythe. We'd also like to acknowledge the efforts of Richie and Moyle and the Council's ongoing restoration of its heritage buildings. And I think you'll agree the Eben's Band Rotunda is looking fantastic, especially at night. I'd also like to, in addition, acknowledge the work of Linda Burns and the team who are currently working on the Central City Interpretation and Cultural Marker Program. It looks very promising. Now, moving on to the serious stuff. The Council's proposed heritage targeted rate to strike Canterbury requests the Council's adopt the proposed heritage targeted rate as outlined in the draft LTB. For the following reasons, we think it gives you an opportunity to really work on the future of the Canterbury Provincial Council buildings and gives you a number of options as outlined in our submission. I mean, effectively, the money you're setting aside really is, is the insurance that was available on the settlement. The old municipal chambers, where well, you've already entered into a commercial relationship with Box 112, so you're honouring that relationship and bringing the building back into the public eye. As regards the Robert McDougall Gallery, well, this has been closed since 2003, so it has an opportunity to open up what is a magnificent gift to the city. The fact that it also is part of the museum, Kennedy Museum development, and if this goes ahead, the funds secured will enable the museum to proceed to central government for a quest for funding, as well as enabling both, both buildings to host world-class exhibitions. We think this is great. They are all iconic branded sites. We also request that you adopt the recommended targeted rate based on house value, as we consider this to be more equitable. In addition, the targeted rate, especially for the Arts Centre, we need to remind the councillors we support this one. This is a $255 million world-class restoration project. It's a small amount of the total that's been sent, spent, and we think it's crucially that it be pursued and fully restored. It will bring a large number of visitors to the central city. And, a, and I should point out a fully open, fully open site means more tenants and a higher rental yield, and the central city will benefit. Again, we request the recommended target and raised on house values. Strike Places Canterbury would request that the council restore the heritage incentive grant to its previous level of $700,000 a year once the disbanded landmarks, what's left the landmarks grants has been exhausted. Whilst we considered prudent that you folded the remainder of the grants, disbanded grants into, we considered the amount of money set aside to, to last 10 years as unrealistic. Already with the grants being made, it now appears there's a million dollars left and with no additional contributions, this is expected to last 10 years. This is unrealistic. And we, at this rate, we think it'll be exhausted by the time, by 2023, the next review will be 2024. We note the Council has widened the heritage grant criteria to include non tutorial items of heritage value, including buildings, movable heritage, and grave monuments. So in other words, there will be a greater demand for this grant. The reason for this is the Council, we argue, is obliged to honour its own heritage strategy. You went to the community, asked the community, the community said, we value heritage, and you responded with the heritage strategy. Withdrawing funding effectively, you're withdrawing the partnership you made with the community. The document refers to partnership. You're now deciding you don't want to pursue this partnership. We think you should continue with it. The other addition is, too, is the heritage... The HIG, the Heritage Incentive Grant, is the character and entice owners to list their buildings, and therefore it's an important tool for the Heritage Incentive Team. We should remind you that heritage, commercial heritage restoration is a successful catalyst for local regen economic regeneration, and we point out to them the difference this has made at High Street, and the Duncans Buildings, and Mackenzie and Willis. It's made, it makes a real difference. Um, we just note on our attached documentation that we've included there as an example. In a study on Virginia heritage visitors, the vi heritage visitors stay, visit twice as many places and spend twice as, two and a half times more money per trip than non-heritage visitors. Now, another issue coming up is we've asked, considering the potential disposal of council-owned properties, we request that the councils withdraw this proposal and, and the council set up a full, meaningful community consultation for each property that is outside the draft long-term process. Our reasons for this are the council is proposing to use a commercial tender process for the building's futures. 
we've been involved in this in the past, and you may recall, to, get it, to have a say in one building in the past, we had to register in a commercial tender situation to have a say, which, to be honest, I don't think the system was designed for that because it has secrecy, et cetera, et cetera. That's for the community to have an input on decision making. So I don't think it's appropriate. Um, the Rolleston House could be used for NGOs if they're finding a use. One building sing we've singled out particularly is the Yaldhurst Memorial Hall. Now this was fundraised as a government scheme. It's a practical living monument to the falling available to serve the community and this makes it different. It's not another building that should be sold off. You've got an obligation to the community. So I think you should involve a full community consultation before you put it on disposal list and work through the community as an example. We're, of course, so fully supportive of our proposed Thanks, Intangible Jared. Heritage Grant Fund Jared, and the other proposals. I'm sorry, you've come to the end of the yep. five minutes, so I'm just um, sorry about thank that. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. You've got a lot of detail in your submission, and we have read them, so um, 